Okay, this is a, um, uh, an explanation of uh, uh, Sergeant Peterson's uh, 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 angry uh, uh, internal uh, problems uh, that he uh, foisted on me uh, as a result of what he was experiencing within himself. Um, on uh, 3-7, as he showed up with, with Christina, uh, in spite of the 911 call, uh, to Rochester Police Department uh, to keep her explicitly to keep her away from me. He showed up, and during the, uh, the the visit there, I was explaining some stuff to Christina and using my hands, uh, kind of like a gesturing fashion, like I had a big beach ball uh, holding like that. It was not intimidating or anything like that. But that moment, he jumped up and pointed at me and and said, "That's what that's what." you're doing it and it's intimidating everybody and even man would be intimidated and you're raising your voice and everything like that. And so Christina had reported to him about a confrontation that I had in, a, not a confrontation, but a, in a confrontational uh, manner when I had addressed Lynn at the dinner table in which she said, she turned to me and said, Sean, uh, uh, how's it going? And I said, is this going to be reported uh, to Christina like Mel has done. And she says, we don't want to talk about that, you know, blah, blah, blah. And Glenda got up and I went over to Glenda and I said, uh, why don't you guys want to talk about uh, th this reporting? And she said, well, it's it's your personal information and and uh, so we're, we shouldn't talk about it. I said, well, you know, it's my personal information, so I guess I can talk about it. So anyway, this is the incident that Christina hadn't been present to and had was just hearsay that she reported to uh, Sergeant Peterson, and Sergeant Peterson interpreted all that as his his view of this behavior, which was his own projection of his uh, what he envisioned this to have happened, and and that's when he just showed his shoved his finger at me and said, "This is intimidating, and this is you know you you're raising your voice." And so I said, "You know, he hadn't been present," and um, and I had not raised my voice, uh, and I had not uh, used any hand gestures at all. And yet here we have two of the staff members uh, tacitly uh, admitting that they were, in fact, reporting. And this is a very clear illustration, and yet uh, uh, Christina would say she's treating me just like everybody else, which is clearly not true. Well, anyway, so uh, now he shows up uh, in response to my wellness call for my dear friend uh, and neighbor, Annette Bartlett. Uh, and uh, and uh, he comes in and... Uh, uh, he, he barges in, and I said, it's okay to record? He said, no, turn the, turn the recording off. There's going to be no recording. And then he just launches in, a, uh, in on me uh, verbally with the 10 inches from my face, pointing his, jabbing his finger in my direction, just like he had done uh, in March. So what he had done in March was a projection of the type of man and anger that he has. It had nothing to do with me because I had never talked to him. Uh, he had never asked me. I'd never heard of him, seen him before until Christina brought him to my door. And all this stuff that he felt towards me was from Christina's uh, 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 exaggeration and misreporting. Uh, she felt she, she was present and all this kind of stuff, which she had not been present. So it was just hearsay of hearsay for Sergeant Peterson. And this is just exactly what Christina does time after time after time. And nobody has ever asked me for my point of view. Okay, now you're getting it. And so um, Sergeant Peterson then said, this is all your fault. Stop wasting um, uh, these, these, these unnecessary uh, calls to uh, the Rochester Police Department, you know, uh, referring to my wellness call to my friend Annette, who was, in fact, taken, had been taken into the hospital earlier. So uh, it, she was in trouble. And so he said, stop stop uh, getting into other residents' uh, business here. Uh, you know, uh, mind your own business, you know, referring to Annette, my call, wellness call to Annette, you know. Um, so this is Sergeant Peterson's anger. It has nothing to do with me, and it's clear that the projection that he envisioned from Christina's hearsay was his own vision of what Christina had conveyed to him. So it had nothing to do with me. And uh, same way with his barging into my apartment and feeling uh, there's going to be no recording. And then apparently he felt confident that he could uh, uh, just verbally abuse me uh, with his two big uh, backup security officers behind him because uh, he, I guess he thought he wasn't being recorded. Uh, so uh, there we are. That's what happened.